Good morning, everybody. I have a train split system and a York package unit over there at a house where they have a well, they're, they're thinking there's a moisture problem. They have cracking on their walls and settling, and they had a couple engineers out here and they say it's too moist in the crawl space. So, we're going to go see if we can find a source. Maybe we're going to check out the interior of that package unit and see what it looks like because uh, they're concerned about. Uh, IAQ issues. So we're gonna go take a look around and see what we can find. Here is our dehumidifier up on a stand. Not too bad. Got this long snaking tube that runs over and into the condensate pump which is running constantly because the 3 8 line pinched off. <laughs> that's full of junk. Boy that's classy looking. It wouldn't be too hard to jack this thing up and run some PVC over here, uh, which is what I'll probably tell them to do. Um, you know, water's passing through this line. So much crap in it. They can't pump anything out. Um, the dehumidifier, dehumidifier is running. Uh, it would turn on, but uh, I'm sure this thing overflows whenever uh, it runs for a long period of time. That's what we got so far. We keep looking around. I took the little 12 by 12 out of the dehumidifier. It is funky, buddy. My light is actually behind it. If you see right there, and that's the light sitting right up against it. It looks kind of rough. So we're going to get a new one of those, looks like. Keep that thing clean. Uh, someone's going to have to get under here every so often and actually change this thing. Looks like it's never been changed. But the other one's kind of dirty looking, but it's not too bad. Kind of a pre. Guys, I, I have bad news. I don't think I'm alone down here. Looks like we got some mouse or ratular <laughs> visitors. So, hope I don't see any of them bad boys. I don't have to throw my shoe at them. We can continue looking around. We got a, looks like some ductwork damage right here. Uh, a little too high off the ground to be our mouse or rat friends. Uh, it could have been just ripped the whole time. But I also see that in the distance, there's some low-line ductwork behind this. Looks like the return, and I think it's been ripped in a couple sections too, so I had to look at that. But it looks like sections of it are actually lying on the ground, which is bad. I can see there is plenty of moisture underneath this uh, plastic. It's bad news. And that, look, that might look like mold on the video, but it's not. It's just some dirt and water stuck together underneath there. Let's see. See how it looks on the underside. Much is more damp, muddy, disgusting. I do believe the rainwater outside is draining back into the crawl space because the crawl space is a little lower than the actual outside those vents right there which they blocked up are actually at ground level I do believe so we're a little bit lower down here which is kind of bad news uh, we're getting a little bit of moisture coming back well we have a little friend that did not make it out of here alive I sure hope I do mm. looks like mice and maybe some squirrels too we got some nuts being stored down here fantastic everything HVAC related. It's dirty. Our hood top could use a little love too. It looks like someone stepped on it or something. Uh, pr pretty easy to replace this. It looks like it was ever caulked anyway, so it's been raining underneath there for a while. Kind of nasty, but put it on the list. Well, we're inside of our package unit. It looks a little dirty. <laughs> it's really not all that old. I think it's about 10 to 13 years old somewhere in that range that's our blower motor and nope looks like we suck some of the insulation into the blower mm. how long has that been like that a couple spider webs could use a nice cleaning <clears throat> yep. put it on the list well our drains underground <laughs> it's a little cramped over here in between the little pvc fence and the unit so I'm Waking my ass in here. The coil's actually pretty clean too. Really, these could use a little bit of washing, but not as bad as I expected. 
And there's no water built up down here at the bottom, which is a good thing too. So that side looks a little bit rougher than this side. So. I removed our dirty bird heater here, took it out so I could look inside the unit. And that does look like mold to me. Uh, let me tell you, I'm not a mold expert. But I've seen it a few times. And that looks like it. And it fits the description of where we're at over here. <laughs> See our blower wheel. But kind of disgusting. So I want to see if I can take a peek down to ductwork and uh, see if it extends down that way. Here's a technical tip for York. If you make a blower housing that doesn't fit out the door, unless it's screeching and being dragged with your foot propped up against the unit, that's bad. Alright guys, we have a little bit more fun. I'm going to show you some more good stuff inside the... Doesn't that look great down there? Good God. That is disgusting. That shit is growing in full force. In the drain pan. Yep, that is disgusting. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and button this thing back up. I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive, if I have some on there, to keep it from being sucked into the blower again. Go ahead and write up a report for the homeowner and see what she wants to do. Well, there's our insulation we're sticking back up. As you see, it's kind of disgusting. I sprayed some of the uh, adhesive on both sides, give it about 20 or 30 seconds to set up, then put them together, and uh, they'll hold pretty good. Uh, how long it'll hold together uh, until a different layer of insulation comes apart, that I don't know. But I know for today she'll be okay. And I'll be going to a neighbor's house to look at pretty much the same thing. <laughs>